flexible neck. Oh, bad joke. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends 2020 Spider-Man Vintage Collection Waves Peter Parker. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. It Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you. Link below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. One million subscribers, guys. Let's do it. And a big thanks to Irivera94 for making this review possible and setting up the connection for me to pick up this set. If you want to check him out, link in the description below. And this looks okay so far already. I like that 90s cartoon image that we're seeing right over here. I really do like the card for these vintage collection figures. And on the back right here, you can see we get a Toy Biz inspired head swapping diagram thing going right over there and then there's a read up over here if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now there's the other figures from the wave and then nothing on the side top or bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> So one thing I'm going to complain about right off the bat is that I wish this figure came with more accessories. He has his DSLR and two head sculpts, which we'll look at in a moment. I wish he had interchangeable hands. If you still have your Shang-Chi hands, you can use those to swap out with this figure. So just to demonstrate really quick, I just want to show a fisted hand uh, getting ported right in there. The flesh tone is just slightly different, but you know, it still works. It's okay with me. I like having interchangeable hands. Wish we had flesh toned thwipping hands. But looking at this camera first, it does look really good. I gotta say, you know, it's pretty well detailed over here, so I'm not complaining about that. The flash has some silver paint right over there, so that's neat. All right, so that's pretty cool. I do dig it. I think all these buttons and everything are supposed to be on the opposite side right over here, though. But still, I like this. Very cool accessory. Sometimes these come with a strap. I'm fine with this not having a strap. I'm happy without it. <laughs> So like the Gwen Stacy figure, this is not necessarily a 90s Spider-Man cartoon design, but this is definitely inspired by the artwork of Steve Ditko. However, not necessarily exactly like how Steve Ditko drew Spidey or Peter Parker anyway, because he did draw him with the eyes showing behind the lenses over here, and I couldn't find an image in my Ditko comics, and then I did a Google search, and then I found this right here, and I'm like, oh god, please Hasbro, don't tell me that you based this off of just the one Google search image? I hope not. But anyway, this does look pretty good, man, as far as the hairstyle goes. I mean, it's very much Steve Ditko, Peter Parker right over here with the full slicked back hair. So I do like that. I just wish that these were translucent and not just, you know, flat silver or shiny silver over the lenses over here. If you want to lift up, you could see Peter's face right over there. He has the blue eyes and everything, and he's not smirking like the other head sculpt. So good hair sculpt and everything on this. I just wish that we'd gotten translucent glasses. I haven't tried removing these. I'm sure if you really wanted to, you could. However, I will demonstrate that if you have one of your regular Peter Parker heads, uh, you can fit that on there, but he's a little necklace right there. So if you kind of shimmy it off the ball peg just a little bit, it looks a lot more natural. So you're going to want to do that. And that looks pretty cool. So I do like that we have that option. Another thing to note is that, you know, Ditko Peter Parker wore yellow. That was Peter Parker's color was yellow. He loved wearing yellow, I guess, which was part of the diversion, right? From you thinking that Peter Parker and Spidey were the same person. But anyway, you can see looking at this head sculpt compared to some Ditko comics, you can see that, yeah, Steve Ditko would do that with the Spidey sense. And then I had to show this off if you have one of the slide effects for the spidey sense you can go like that and boom that is awesome god that looks so cool so i have a link below to the slide effects but that is really neat i like that quite a bit and the paint on this looks okay until i look at the seam right in the middle i could see a whole bunch of red kind of bleeding over onto spidey's face or peter's face anyway so that's a little irksome but yeah you can see that small ditko eye right there for the spidey mask Looks very clean with the cobweb pattern right here, so I can't complain about that. And again, the hair looks really good. The red paint looks very clean on the back of the figure right over here and on the top. So not a bad head sculpt at all. And then for the rest of this, we're looking at a Stan Lee figure just painted a little different. So yeah, nice, soft, pliable material right here for the jacket. I do like it. Buttons look really good. Wrinkles look natural, especially right over here. 
and then double jointed elbows you can see we get like a support hand or something for the camera and then this hand right here is more of a gripping hand so that's neat and you can see the belt looks pretty good right there there's your peter parker butt nice wrinkles on the back of the jacket right over there looking at the legs they look pretty good once again and then you can see that he's wearing white sneakers right over here and he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet and one thing i did want to mention that was worth noting is that you can see some of that baby blue coming up from underneath the jacket sometimes so depending on the pose you may see that shirt creep from underneath so that can be annoying and then with the glasses peter parker head sculpt on there and going over the articulation which is the same as the Stan Lee figure, you can get the head to look all the way up. So if you did want to get him into some wall crawling poses, that does work out. And his head does shift forward and back like a pile driver. Same thing with the half mask version. You can make him look all the way down. You get side to side motion and a bit of head tilting right over there or pivoting anyway. Shoulders will move outward that far and down. Rotate a full 360 bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows on the jacketed figure. I love seeing that. That would have been nice if we had seen that on the female jacketed figure, but no. Anyway, left wrist turns side to side and hinges up and down the right side has the horizontal hinge which is frustrating because i wish both hands could move up and down it makes it easier for wall crawling he will crunch forward and back you get a waist swivel hips move outward that far he will kick forward back upper thigh cut double jointed knees angles move down up and he does have beautiful ankle pivot and to measure out this peter parker figure you can see that he is standing just a little under six and a half inches tall i don't really have a whole ton of figures to compare this peter parker to but i did want to compare him to his body mold mate we have stan lee right over here and i ended up opening up that new Stan Lee figure that I unboxed in my latest unboxing video because hey it's good to have one around for size comparisons uh, my first Stan Lee is way up high on the wall with all kinds of accessories added to him and everything like that but you can see the similarities and differences it's just a little funny to me to see Peter with the sneakers right over here because Stan totally should have had sneakers on and you can see that they changed the right hands on the figures right there yeah I'm curious to see what a head swap looks like too well okay it's a little funny looking I mean you could do that if you wanted to but you know there's other heads that you can use for this figure right over here. I don't know, we'll see. I may make this my Matt Murdock, I'm not sure. But if anything, he'll be good to have around for size comparisons. And then here's Peter Parker next to some other street clothed figures. We have the Chameleon, we have young Nick Fury, and then we have Luis right over here. Ah, and putting this Peter Parker head sculpt on the Chameleon body looks pretty cool. I want to see how it looks on Professor X's body. Ooh, that looks really good too. That's actually a better Peter Parker. Wow, I like that most. That's really cool. Maybe if he had like a yellow vest or something, that would really top it off, right? And then here's Peter Parker next to Pizza Spidey, and uh, they don't scale perfectly. Pizza Spidey's a little short, and we gotta see a head swap. Okay, so their necks don't really match up correctly for this, so that does look a little bit weird. Uh, seeing the half mask face on here, though. Hey, that actually works out. That, uh, yeah, that's not actually too bad, right? That looks like a legit Spidey if you just go like that, doesn't it? Not too bad at all. And then here's Peter Parker next to the old Mary Jane body mold with the new Mary Jane head sculpt on there. And we have the only figure from this wave, Gwen Stacy. Have you ever been in a situation like this, right? The love triangle thing with like two of them want the one, you know what I mean? And then here's the Marvel Legends Peter Parker figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man. Hey brother. Hey brother. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't be sad, little brother. You're just still in that young nerd phase. Eh, don't worry about it. When you get older, it gets way harder. So you're literally experiencing the easiest part of your life right now. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> ah, let's go box with a tank. You'll feel better after. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Come on, you guys. One million subscribers. We got this. We got this. And a big thank you to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel over on the crowdfunding. If you're interested in the early access because these guys saw this video a day earlier than you, well, you can find it all over in the link in the description below. Now, this figure I like. However, it just doesn't stand well on its own without added accessories to it. Uh, you can see that I've added the slide effect Spidey Sense right there on the back of the head. That would have been a cool accessory to include with the figure. Something like that would have been neat. And I did feel the need to switch the hands out with the Shang-Chi hands. So that is also another thing that I was kind of like, oh, and my favorite head sculpt with the figure is just the regular Peter Parker head. So it's one of those things where it's like, I really like the figure. I'm happy that we have this version. Also, having a yellow jacket would have been nice so oh my god i have all kinds of little complaints however i'm still 
glad that we have this figure. It's just, I wish he had more stuff. So at the price point of around 20 to 25 bucks, I'm giving this figure a sud rating of... It's not so bad. And it's really not bad. I mean, you're gonna enjoy the figure. When you get the figure, I'm sure you're gonna like it. I just wish that there are more things to go along with the figure. I felt like I had the most fun with it when I included accessories that did not come with it. So that's why it gets that rating. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to follow me on the social media, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! <laughs> Action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.